Welcome to Better Basics. Today we're making two servings of pour over coffee. There are a ton of ways to make a pour over. This is just my morning routine and hopefully you can pick up a few helpful tips. If you know something that you don't see in this video, please share it in the comments. All the products mentioned in the video are linked in the description. Now let's get into it. When I'm making a pour over for two, I start with 600 grams of filtered water and I heat it to 200 Fahrenheit or 93 Celsius. I use this Cuisinart electric kettle, but there are way nicer options out there. Gooseneck kettles are ideal, but anything that can reliably heat to 200 Fahrenheit will do. We want the water to stay hot throughout our pours. Additionally, you're gonna wanna get a baking scale for measuring weight. I love the one I'm using here, and the link is down in the description. While the water's heating up, I'll measure out 50 grams of beans, and then pour them into the grinder. This is a Capresso Infinity and I love it. I use a medium coarse grind for these beans, but don't take that as gospel. Experiment to find what works best for you. As far as the beans go, there are local roasters all over. I encourage you to search your city or county and find a craft roaster to buy beans from. Now I'll get my decanter, I use the standard Chemex and then a filter. I use the bonded natural Chemex filters. Just make sure you follow the instructions for whatever filter you're using. Then I put the grounds in the filter and gently shake them to make sure they sit evenly. Now we'll get pouring. We're gonna pour 120 grams of water over the grounds, making sure we wet them evenly. Then we let the grounds sit for one minute to bloom. This is an important step because it lets the CO2 trapped in the roasted beans escape into the air. After the bloom, we're gonna evenly pour 120 grams of water over the grounds and let it drain out. We'll repeat this until we've poured all 600 grams of water. After the last pour has drained, we'll toss the filters in the grounds, then pour and enjoy. Like I said before, this is just my routine and I hope you found it helpful. Share any tips or steps that you do differently in the comments, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, it really helps me out. Thanks for stopping by.